For exponentiation, we call up the field code brackets again, using the appropriate keys for whichever platform we are using. Type eq, space, backslash. Then type s, which we suppose is for superscript or subscript. We type backslash, and then we need to indicate if it is a superscript or a subscript we want. Of course, for exponentiation, it's superscript. So we type up. Then we indicate how elevated above the main line the exponent is supposed to be. Let's try 4 for now. So we type 4. We think this means 4 points up above the main line. We open with a parenthesis and type the exponent, which in our example is 2, and end with a closing parenthesis. We cut the field code and paste. Now, the exponent 2 does not look much like an exponent. That's because we don't have the base for our exponentiation. If it is x squared we want, we type x before the exponent. Of course, we could have typed in x first before starting the exponent. For a subscript, we want the character to go down. We press Alt F9 for a PC and Option F9 for a Mac to toggle to the field code mode. We change up to DO for down. Press Alt F9 or Command F9 to toggle to the actual math expression. And we have our subscript. To get an expression like x sub 4 cubed, which has both a superscript and a subscript, type x first. Then we call up the field code brackets. Type eq, space, backslash, s. Okay, this time we don't say up or down. Actually, it would not matter. Open parenthesis. First, type the exponent 3 comma to separate the superscript from the subscript, then the subscript 4, then a closing parenthesis, cut, and paste to view the math expression. Let us go back to the fraction a squared over b squared. Start with the field code brackets, eq, space, backslash, f for fraction, open parenthesis, a to start the numerator, and now we begin the exponent 2. Call the field code brackets again, eq, space, backslash, s for superscript, backslash, up for the exponent, 4 to raise the exponent 4 points up, open parenthesis, 2 for the exponent, and then a closing parenthesis. Now, instead of finishing the entire fraction, we could cut this exponentiation code line and paste. What do you think? The result is that the exponent 2 is rendered in actual math format. This helps alleviate the clutter because of the number of parentheses and brackets that we use for these lines of code. Now the denominator b squared. Type comma to separate the numerator a squared from the denominator. Type b. And since the exponent is exactly the same as that for a squared, we'll just copy the exponent of a squared and paste it after b. Close with a parenthesis, cut the entire line of code, and paste. Voila, a squared over b squared. Now, notice that there is a little bit of spacing right after a squared and right after b squared in the fraction. There is even spacing after the fraction. The reason why these spaces occur is that word tends to create spaces within the field code. We toggle to field code mode. To get rid of these spaces, we'll simply delete the spacing here. There's also a little bit here, 
we get rid of that. And this one, that's gone. Toggle back to the math expression mode. Now, that is certainly much better. 